Yeah, it's another beautiful evening right here on the coast city of Enugu State. And yes, it is time for Unka all day, every day, every weekday from 8 p.m. through to 9 p.m. only on Akia TV, broadcasting live from the city of Enugu, DSTV 254, and Go TV 17. I am Jumai Bulama Ashebu, pleased to be here once again. I was strolling down to work today, and I don't know about you, but there's a certain aroma that Christmas carries. I don't know if I'm the first to perceive it, but I was just walking down and it's starting to feel like Christmas somehow. There's something in the air and it's, it, it smells a certain way. But now, the real thing I want to talk about is the video that has been making the rounds. I'm talking about Harry Song's video. Um, of course, there's a viral video trending and a lot of people are making speculations that he set to marry 30 women in a day. That is beating Fela Kuti's record. Now, if you remember, in 1978, um, Fela made a, set a record, actually, for marrying 27 women at the same time. And the video with the various speculations, we see 30 women in the video, it's looking like a wedding ceremony, but Harrison hasn't come out to say anything, right? He's saying, wait for the video. Personally, I feel this is a stunt. It's a media stunt. I feel it's just for the video, if you ask me. Because in this economy, with the inflation and things happening at the moment, one person getting married to 30 women in this economy, well, I should be asking you that question. Would you be willing to get married to 30 women at the same time right now? We'll go for a quick break. When we do come back, I will be introducing my guests and, of course, asking them this question, perhaps with a little sum of money. Don't go anywhere. And Kat, we'll be right back. Welcome back to the show, Nka only on Afia TV. I am Jumai Bulama Ashebu. And yes, it's another Monday where we have two handsome men here. But right before I introduce my guests, of course, it's important for me to put out this advice out there. Uh, perhaps you're a young man. Um, perhaps your name is Emmanuel. You know, there has been a complaint recently that uh, setting someone has been trying to, um, you know, go around stealing people's wives. Please, it's important wherever you are, Emmanuel, this report was made to us. Try to leave people's wives alone. It's very important. And go get yours. Now, back to one of the amazing things we have out for you. I'm talking about the Afia Homecoming. And that is set for this December. Now, Afia TV sat down and decided to curate an amazing experience tailored just for you. I'm talking about bringing back the magic of Christmas. Now, if you're outside the country or in another state and you're looking forward to coming back home to Enugu State to have the best time of your life, well, this is where you need to be. Of course, we do have um, a series of events tailored just for you. And for more information on that, do well to go to our website at www.afiatv.net. And of course, it is free for registration. Perhaps you're an event planner or an artist and you want to key into the Afia Homecoming, you can definitely go to our website at www.afiatv.net. I haven't forgotten my countdown for the lot of you who think I have. Well, it is 42 days until Christmas and 49 days until the end of the year. I mean, it's gradually leaving and 2024 is almost here. I'm super excited and I know a lot of you are. But yes, I do have two handsome men today. I mean, when they walked in, I was like, ah, what handsomeness. Joining us is a man whom is very romantic. Now, I'll tell you why he was romantic. Um, his parents recently celebrated their 30th anniversary, marriage anniversary, and he took out time to make a song for them, letting them know how much he loves them, letting, him, letting them know how much he cares, but most importantly, also using the music to tell them that he's taking his time. He's in no rush to get married, so nobody should rush him. Joining us tonight is a music producer extraordinaire. He's an artist and, of course, songwriter. Joining us tonight is no other than the one and only Chinna Jr. Was I lying with what I said? Did I lie? No, you did not. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you. All right. Joining us also is another handsome man. Now, 
I like giving backstories before I introduce my guests. So this is a man that is loved by so many ladies. I went through his socials and I just saw so many ladies just all around him. He's also a model, if you're wondering. You can see the height, the handsomeness, and he is a super fantastic actor. Joining us tonight is no other than the one and only Odua Ernest. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us. Good evening. Hi. I'm not going to ask you if I lied because you say <laughs> <laughs> you're going to contradict me. So I'm not going to join, but it's a pleasure having you. Thank you. Same here. All right. Uh, right before we go on, um, I opened the show with asking people what they think about getting married to 30 women in a day <laughs> in this economy. So now I'm going to rephrase that question and I'm going to ask you, um, would you be willing to get married to 30 women at the same time, on the same day, for 100 million naira? Well, I would... You don't want to think about it. You want to marinate. It's 100 million, I said, though. <laughs> for 100 million. For 100 million naira. 30 women. 100 million naira. Naira. Okay, so here's the thing. Naira, mm. naira has no value, hey. as we all know. So oh. if you're saying 100 million, it's money, but it's not money. Dry bones shall yeah. rise again. It, well, hopefully <laughs> it will. But then, marrying 30 women, I mean, one woman is headache enough you know ah, we are now headache talk more of getting 30 <laughs> dose of headaches you know ah. no offense but i'm just you saying is already I'm, <laughs> I'm, ju I'm just saying one <laughs> one is enough one is enough you say headache first if you have said <laughs> enough it's been a different oh, case God. all right what do you think chinat well um I, I i will agree with him like 40 percent i don't feel like women are headache God bless. Uh, depending on how it just depends on your Personality and God stuff. bless you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Exactly. So I, I watched my dad handle my mom mm. and my sister. <laughs> so and my sister, no offense, Faris, I love you, but she's a piece of work. So <laughs> you have said it in another way. <laughs> no, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, you just rephrased it and you gave it back yeah, to no. me like that. Well, my mom was a one, is, is a wonderful person, and everybody has flaws as human beings. All True. Of so, yeah, uh, for hundred million though, um, not so sure. You know, first of all, as I said, for that 40% is I'm standing with him on the fact that Naira, Naira is but still thank planning you. to have no value. Thank you, my brother. Thank you so much for that. Like, well, I'm not even optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> optimistic nah, nah, nah. Too, too, too late for you that. You people do not have hope. <laughs> too, you late, too late for You don't that. have faith for the Naira. Oh, God. Well, I'm a true Nigerian. And before we go in, I need to put up a disclaimer. I have faith in the Naira. Amen. I know that the Naira will grow. And most importantly, if you want the Naira to grow, it's important that you buy made in Nigeria goods so as to grow the Naira. We need to do well to help our Naira grow and bounce back. I believe in the Naira, and I'm sure you do too. So I don't know what these men are saying here. The Naira will get back on its feet very, very soon. Amen. But amen, yes. <laughs> <laughs> amen, I agree. All right, so as always, we begin with the foundation. The foundation is where the, your journey all started. I'm going as deep as primary schools you attended, secondary schools, where you did grow up, and how it shaped you to the person you are right now. So let us start with you, Ernest. Um, so I, I grew up in Pothakot. Mm. Um, Where in Pothakot? Actually, it was different places. Elele oh. um, Woji. Um, I went to God's Care Academy. I did my secondary school in um, Paradise International Secondary School, mm. the branch at Elele Moor. And um, I moved to Uwari to do my tertiary education. What did you study? Computer Science. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And now you act. What was your plan when you wanted to study computer science? What crossed through your mind? Well, I think at that moment, at that phase I was, I just wanted to be in school. I didn't really think it through to do computer science, to be very honest, because uh, I would say peer pressure also made it that way because all my mates were in school and I wasn't. So as at that moment, I just wanted any course that would just put me right there. And then I took computer science because it was the available one. And then I just... I just did it. I know. like your honesty. Honestly, yeah. Thank you. When it's available, you just, just do you it. need a degree. <laughs> just do it. But have you always thought or have you always imagined that you would end up in the arts? Actually, yes. Uh, while I was in Pothakot in my teenage years, I 
was in the teenage church and in the drama section and in the choir section. Oh, was, so sweet. So was, you sing? Yeah, I, oh, I used to. I used to. I used to. Lovely, <laughs> I used to. <laughs> so yeah, let's do something oh rather spontaneous. <laughs> so wait now, wait. Your fans have not seen this side of you. Let's oh do something. Because I went through your social life. I didn't see you singing. I was just saying acting, acting everywhere. <laughs> so let's do something nice. So think of any song that you're comfortable with. Any song that makes you happy. It just, you can just give me one liner, two liners. Just sing something for us tonight. Let's go back to the, the choir days. I want us to reminisce. It's not such a bad thing. So let's go back. Let me bring back some nostalgia. Whoa, OK. Yeah. Um, you will sing too. Stop smiling. You sing too. I mean, he's a musician, yeah, so, will sing so yeah. Too. Yeah. Um, OK. OK, I mean, there's this song I used to like so much in my teenage church. Um, Tell me, what can I do? Hmm. Can you know, yeah. yeah. Cause I can live without you. I can live without you. So tell me, what can I do? Cause I can live without you. I can live without you. So tell me, what can I do? I know, you go up, you go up. <laughs> Cause I can live without you. No. I can live without you. Oh. So tell me, what can I do? Because mm. I can live without you, Lord. I can live without you. So here's my heart. Yes. Hey. So here's my mind. Take it. I give you my soul, Lord. I wish you did dun dun dun. Is it someone that sees you now? Be like, ask this guy to be a pastor's son. Because oh. the way you are singing it, and you're taking us back to church, and the thing is just, you know, you're just. Yeah, it's there, and it can never leave. So, ah, but yeah. when last did you sing? How long has it been? Yesterday night in my bathroom. Okay, apart from the private, <laughs> apart, apart from your private moment. Honestly, it's been a very, it's like something that I just kept, I just archived, hmm. you know, waiting to, I think I just, hmm. I just need to like tap into that, that energy again before I bring it out to the audience and stuff like that. So it's been a while, long time. Well, we're happy to have heard you sing, and I'm sure your fans who are watching right now I are like, so. so we can sing, and it's a church somebody. I hope so. You know, when you're on the <laughs> entertainment field, there's a certain eye people tend to look at you. Exactly. Um, if you don't put out there that you love the gospel or you're a Christian, people tend to look at you like, oh, this one is just wayward because you are in the entertainment True. scene. True. So. Hearing you sing and, you know, taking us back to church. Lovely, lovely, lovely time. We'll definitely get back to your story. Thank you. But Chinat, the journey so far, where you grew up, schools you attended, and of course, how it has led you to where you are right now. Yeah, uh, so I was born and brought up in Enugu here. Yeah. Where in Enugu? So, I, uh, first of all, well, according to my parents, I wouldn't know because of a child. I was a baby. <laughs> <laughs> so where, where I was born, we, we were living at Eza and Clues, New Heaven. Yeah. So from New Heaven, we moved. We actually moved to Abuja. We stayed for like a year. There, my sister was born there, and we moved back to Enugu. I went to Shekina. Mm, Shekina Glory. Shekina Glory, yes. Mm -hmm. In my primary school, like from nursery three to primary six. Yeah, and then so. The thing is, my parents are missionaries, so we moved around oh. a lot. Mm. Exactly. So we moved to Akwaibom State. Mm. Yeah. From Akwaibom, we moved to Imo State. Right before you moved to Akwaibom, let's talk about your experience in Akwaibom. Um, I asked this question because I spent half of my life in Cross River State. No kidding. So it was a different experience for me. So I'd like to know your experience growing up in Akwaibom State, the food, the people, what was the experience like? I loved the state for what it's worth. I mm. actually liked the state for what it's worth. The human beings, uh, I have issues with human beings in general. Mm. I'm a very huge, you know. <laughs> yeah, so, but the human beings, I, I, I have human beings. I've stated that already. So, but I loved it generally. I liked that it was quiet. It's not as busy. You know, as such, you don't wake up in the morning and you're like, pay, 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 you know, and <laughs> yeah. we lived in an exclusive environment anyway. Yeah. Uh, so I could, uh, my school was near there. I liked the food. So, <laughs> which would you say was your best delicacy in Aquaibon? 
Um, a di mm. mm. You didn't try ekpan? I tried it too. But what there's happens? something very classic about the Dika and Kong. Well, it's actually nice. Too. It's actually <laughs> no, nice. Too. It, mine is more deep. Mm. You get so the Dika so is like we settle, like you settle, and they welcome you with it, mm. and you want it. it makes sense. Fresh like, Dika exactly with penrubinkles, mm. the one you the have to suck. Yes, uh, not the one they remove from the shell. And it has stuff. it's infi, yeah. Exactly. Mm. Yes. So you might go there now in search of a wife very soon because of a Dika. <laughs> You never know. Never know. <laughs> 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 All right, so from Akwaibo, where did this take you to? Yeah, again? It, took, it took us to, we moved to Oweri. Mm. Yeah, we moved to Oweri, and um, yeah, I wouldn't call that place fun. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't actually like it. A lot of it's people <laughs> would beg to differ. <laughs> actually, A lot of people beg to differ. Well, I was young. In my defense, I was young. So, you know, they, they call it the Flexen Town. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so. I was young. I, this, what, I would flex for my father's house. My <laughs> friends are missionaries, so kind of love. <laughs> so they're clergymen, so I couldn't do that kind of a thing and yeah. stuff. So yeah, I, I didn't like the place like that. I just enjoyed it because of my friends mm. there and stuff. So we moved back to Enugu. I think it was in GS3 then. Yeah, I had issues in school and stuff. So we moved back here. And um, yeah, that's, uh, that's, I finished my secondary school. In, uh, I finished my secondary school in Model Secondary School, the place Roban, uh, Roban in Transicolo stands now. So I finished my secondary school there, and I went to Federal School of Dental Technology and Therapy. What did you study? Dental Technology. Wow. Mm. You don't strike me like somebody that... Hello. I know. Oh, <laughs> what, what inspired oh, the thoughts? Well, I will share in his own... In my own case, I had... I was, you know, I, I didn't like the, I was not, I, it didn't feel challenging the way music came to me, so mm -hmm. I didn't see it as important, you understand? Like, it, it just came to me like that, you know? Uh, so I started producing at 14, so I'm, I've, I've been going to the studio so ever since, so I wanted to be something more, something that pulls my brain and stuff, so I was like, medicine or nothing. You know, that kind of thing. So, <laughs> well, something medicine or nothing. So, what so, that change your mind? Yeah, I got in there. I actually wanted to leave by every means necessary. I would not lie. You got into Federal School of Dental. Okay. But I didn't get into medicine. Okay. I wanted to leave Federal School of Dental by every means necessary. I tried what? the next the year. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a medicine or nothing for me. It was my mom was like, you know, you have to, you're already there. Just continue, you know, continue. Mm -hmm. you know, they're already like. <laughs> Prove why you could have done well in medicine, you understand, to us here. So, yeah. You, you got this. So you were stuck. stuck? I was stuck. So, you saw it through? Yes, I had to. I'm sure they were very proud. They were. <laughs> they were to the fullest. You need to see the way my father brags. Like, you know, my son studied the medical course. Like, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Before I get to ask you about where you did serve, that's in terms of NYC, how was it growing up as um, a child? having missionary parents. Did you feel different from other kids in school? What was the experience like? It was, um, it was tough. It was actually tough, but I, um, I can't complain now because I see why it was tough. Exactly, because every single second, having those parents was, is, is actually what you see right here. Exactly, because with the kind of insanity going on in the world now, you know, I just thank God, and I've seen my friends, how they behave with a very, that did not have loose ends tied by their parents and stuff, you know, that kind of a thing. But yeah, if, 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 if it's for the pressure, there was pressure to be the pastor's son. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even say as much as stupid. <laughs> Right. It to be perfect exactly. So, ah, see this pastor's child. In Ibo, they be like, "Oh, pastor," that kind of a thing. So, yeah, it was tough. I can just imagine because growing up, um, my mom used to be rather religious. Oh. It was so bad that when other kids were watching certain movies, I was stuck with Mount Zion movies. <laughs> <laughs> I really never said this before, <laughs> but you inspired the thoughts because it somehow came, it came yeah, back yeah, to me. Kind of and 
By what you need, you don't just watch it for watching sake. Um, there are some Bible verses that those children, those people. So you, I will never forget Psalm 91 because of one of the movies. <laughs> that is how bad it is. So I can definitely relate to devotions in the morning, yeah. devotions in the night. Yeah. If you're Catholic, you pray, rosary, rosary exactly. decades. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. And I do understand. It's true. I wish it was just, sorry, I wish it was just devotions and stuff. We were, forced, we were also made to read the Bible, literally, like five, five chapters a day. And you come and talk about it. Exactly, you know. That kind no, of mine thing. wasn't that deep. <laughs> <laughs> now I think about it, mine wasn't that deep. Because of my dad, I could get away with a lot. Aww. But when I wasn't home, and just me and my mom, yeah. I had to behave. So <laughs> it was Mount Zion. I remember some of, the, some of the titles there, just a little scene. Um, yeah. You no know, lion hat. Yeah. Hey, oh, lion it was. Heart. <laughs> lion hat. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I, I see. I'm taking me back, but it's not that about kind of me. Thing. Where did you yeah, guys sure. serve in terms of NYSE? When did you serve? Uh, I've, I've actually not served yet. Okay. Yeah. I just finished, and I served in real estate. That's where I did my NYSE. Real estate, but what state? River State. River State? Yes, River State. You yeah. know, for a minute, it sounded like real estate. Real estate. <laughs> no, 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 no. I meant to River State, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's a head. <laughs> no, 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 River State, that's what I meant. That's what I was like, you had real estate, yeah, too. I'm like, mm, it's like I'm not hearing correctly. <laughs> but, I mean, why, why didn't you go somewhere else? Why did you choose to remain where you? <sighs> I mean, this is a place you grew up. You could have gone to explore the adventure. Well, the thing is, at the moment, I, I, I base in Oweri, mm -hmm. right, and also in Enugu. But I decided to do it in Port Harcourt because um, Port Harcourt is, I don't know if you've been to PH, is... I have. You have? I'm not a fan. I'm sorry. Really? So, here's the thing. Okay. I grew up partly in Lagos. Okay. And when I made the switch from Lagos to Cross River, my life changed. The hustle and bustle of Lagos, I could not see that in Kakaba was very easy pace. Come. That you could leave your house eight and you get to be at work by nine. You get there by 8 30. No traffic. True. Easy going life. True. I come back to Lagos, I couldn't imagine being there when I tested that. So when I got to Potakot, it reminded me of Lagos. Did Everybody you? is just up and down, very busy. Yeah. yeah. Well, a, a PH gives me this. This homely vibe. I feel like that's that's you home grew for up me. There. I grew up there. Used to yes. be expected. So 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 yeah. So I'm I'm, I'm attached to PH in yeah. a way, you know. So I just started to do it since it was still closer to Uweri at the same time. So and it gave me it gave me the peace I wanted. I didn't want all of that Lagos razzmatazz and all that. No, no, no. I agree. But that part is mini that. Lagos, but still better. I agree. Well, but that's because it's becoming overpopulated. People are, people are migrating to PH. True that. That, because so. when you think about the big cities, you have Lagos, you have Potaka, you have Abuja. Abuja yeah. So people pick one of the D's exactly. and think that. And it's a commercial state, too. So, exactly. Yeah, so. You have oil. Yeah, so. That makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. So, where would you like to serve? Uh, spread your wings, you know? Yeah, spread my wings. <laughs> <laughs> True that, but I was, I was thinking of North. Yeah, mm -hmm. for us, it's it's. Well, the north. I'm I'm interested in this. <laughs> yeah, I know. Everybody seems very interested. I like Joss. Yeah, my mom's school there, so I'm like, yeah, just just makes sense. Just to go and I've, experience. I've gone, I've gone there before. Okay. Yeah, I've been I've been to Joss before, and I liked the environment. It's cold when it's cold. Actually, yes. Very very cold when it's cold. And it's hot when it's extra hot. Very it's hot. hot when it's extra hot. Yeah. yeah. Very, very I, I said this because I'm from Borno State. I'm from Medjugorje. So kidding. When you say you want to go back to North, I'm like. Yeah, really. Yeah, not that nice. Oh, and they also have good food. Exactly. So, which would you say is your favorite um, northern meal? Okay, so here's the thing. Ah. Now, in, in, I, 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 I did my camping at um, Taraba State. That's where I camped. Taraba is nice. Yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's nice. Taraba has a good. <laughs> I, I, I enjoyed it, though, funny enough, but... What the, did you enjoy about it? You said the food is nice. The so. food, but now I'm trying to remember... Okay, so let me just... Let me explain the food. Mm. I, I, I've forgotten the name. Mm. Sorry, yeah. Fura Dununu. That's yeah. the name. Fura Dununu. The one that you put Milk. all of those, and then you yeah. put banana and Then I ate this... Um, <laughs> there's this pepper... It looks like a, a cube, but it's pepperish. Mm. I can't remember the name of that meal. But it was nice. 
Mm. It was nice. I'm happy that you enjoyed the food. Yeah, yeah, I did. You have a lot to explore. We'll go for a quick <laughs> break right now. When we do come back, more on Inca, don't go anywhere. You're still watching Nka only on Afia TV. I am Jimai Bulama Ashebu. I still have superstar Odor Ernest and China Jr. right here with me. And for the life of me, we've had an interesting conversation. It just gets more interesting as we go. And uh, right before the break, China Jr. was blushing by a question I asked him behind the scenes. He could not imagine or wasn't <laughs> expecting that question. But I'll let him marinate on it and I'll definitely get back yeah, to I'll it. Marinate. It's, a, it's, a, it's important that he will talk about that much later. Yeah, okay. All right, right before we get into more, there's something we do on the show. It's our own way of celebrating our guests, our own way of making you feel loved and appreciating you. Mm. So right now, I would like us to start with my dad's namesake, Odua Ernest, and uh, show him how much we care about him. Wow. Wow, are you serious? Yes, yeah, my dad's namesake. What are you expecting? Interesting. I, I'm kidding. I don't know, I had no idea. He has no idea. Well, that's it. That's what you should be expecting. I, I, I live in your life. Wow. With your, so you like all the smoothie things? Well, I mean... Drinkables, you know, fruities, I do. smoothies. I do. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fine. When I called you a model, see the heights now. Negodo. Okay. Looking good. Uh uh. You are giving them. Mm? <laughs> this was like, okay, I, I, I remember this. I remember this. Wow. Where, where is this? Um, in Abuja. Yeah, because yeah. I just saw the rocks. Mmm. Yeah. Wow. You don't have any bad photos. This is annoying. Normally, we have these very old photos that you'd be looking like this. Oh, I don't have any bad photos. No, no. Wow. All right, so, China Jr., I pray for the same grace for you. I do pray for the same grace for me as well. Because I really don't like my picture. <laughs> for what is this worth. This is how we celebrate you. Right now, oh like us God. to celebrate China Jr. right here, especially right here on the show. It will. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, God. Open your eyes now. Oh, Look at God. this. <laughs> is this you? <laughs> no. no. Oh my God. This is it's called back in the day. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, this, these photos we are supposed to be non-existent. <laughs> I mean, Ouch. who are you angry with here? In this photo. Bro. Right? <laughs> who annoyed you? Oh. What happened? Who got you angry? <laughs> Uh, oh wow! Uh, this on TV. Who's that? <laughs> this on TV. <laughs> Yo, is is the That's forehead for me? Wow, wow, wow! <laughs> Who who's that lady beside you? My sister. You? Oh, lovely. Oh, mm, wow! So nice. Interesting times. Well. Let's let's not show any look many more. It's okay. It's okay. Oh that, that's God. enough. That's it's enough, guys. Let's come back. Let's not do. Let's not do more havoc. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> but what we do, what we actually do with these photos is to kind of remind you of how far you've come. Yeah. You've come a long yeah. way, and of course we're rooting for you. We're celebrating how far you've come. Thank you. But also telling you that the best is yet to come. So Thank we're you. rooting for you, Thank and you. we're celebrating you in the process. Thank you. Well, let's talk about your photos. Ah, huh? lovely. Ah. Mm. Are they? That was the main throwback. <laughs> but how did it make you feel, though? Well, I, I have a whole lot of feelings. None of them negative, anyway. Of so, course. Well, it's <laughs> Just funny. It's quite funny. Very funny. Yes. All right. So it's important for us to get into your various sectors. You are in the. You guys are both in the entertainment sector. Mm -hmm. But I'll talk to you about movies, and then we'll definitely go into music with you. Let's talk about the entertainment sector, that's Nollywood, right here in the Southeast. What would you say is our greatest challenge? Because <sighs> as far back as, I mean, not too long ago, most of the major prominent actors you see are from the Southeast. Enugu was a hub where people came from far and wide to come shoot. We see that is not the case as it used to be before. You still have people shooting here, don't get me wrong. But not as much as a long time ago when you had those 
Nollywood, all the all Nollywood stars. And people are asking, what exactly are we not doing that we should be doing right? And I'm bringing it back here. I want to tie it to something that you did not too long ago. I'm talking about the movie Echezona. Wow. Okay. Yes, which was nominated, I mean, for over 30. It has 13 nominations from various film festivals. And just for the AMVCA, it was also nominated also. Yes, it was. So it was an indigenous movie showcasing the rich cultural heritage of the Southeast. Mm -hmm. Would you say the reason why we're not big as we should be is because we're not making enough <clears throat> of those kind of indigenous movies so as to showcase our rich cultural heritage here? Well, I would say that's, that's one point, that's one aspect of it. And um, personally, I would also say that I think nowadays everybody is so eager to want to move to Lagos. Hmm. Because uh, it's categorized, not it's categorized, it's actually the fact, it's the headquarter of anything entertainment. So people are somehow in a hurry to want to move to Lagos. But I feel like if a lot of people can just calm down, relax, you know, stay where you are, build your foundation from there. If you're in Enugu, stay in Enugu. Build, this is my own perspective, I'm not saying it should be applicable to everybody. Build your foundation, grow your craft, you know, to the extent that even the producers in Lagos would see you and would want to work with you. So that way, you, they, they will be forced to reckon with you and come down here to do it the way it's supposed to be done, True. thereby projecting the cultural heritage of the Southeast and all of that. This is my own perspective, you know. Okay. And I would also say that um, there's another angle to it because, uh, especially these are new generation actors, you know. Uh, we are not doing this for free, you know. Mm. Yes. What do you mean? Yeah, we are not, this is not, this is not a, a charity organization, I have to put it that way. Uh, where you work, you're supposed to eat from there. So, s sometimes people just feel like a lot of the Eastern um, producers are not doing what they are supposed to do. How? You know, in, in, in the financial aspect So they're not it. paying enough as per the other people would pay. Exactly, you know, exactly. Why do you think that is the case? Well, that's a broad question. <laughs> yeah, no, you can just give that's me a, that's a broad question. some reasons you think maybe they're not giving as much as other producers. Well, I would say uh, maybe... <clears throat> A lot of times they, they would they would want to not make it so official with you thereby mm. you know like my guy my guy oh. alpha <coughs> run this for me but True that. the people should understand that business is business business is business friendship is friendship if if we're doing business put the friendship <coughs> outside let's let's work as colleagues you know and after that we can still be friends. And that's why I see a lot of people are going to the almighty Lagos because yeah. even for the short privilege you, you get, you, you, you tend to see that you're compensated very well. Even if it's just like one scene, you know, you're compensated very, very well. And then, I mean, in the era, we, everybody needs money to solve different issues. So sure. if you're in my shoes, where would you rather want to be? Where you're paid, where, right? So that's another aspect of it. So I mean, if they can do better, and also, I know the, there's a hierarchy to this. You know, you don't expect you don't expect someone that just started yesterday to be receiving the same pay that someone that has been there for like you twelve have to build, years. You have, you have to have grow. To, yeah, exactly. You Follow have the to process, build, yeah. like you said in one of your photos. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you have to build. You have to build your craft to a certain extent where, if you see this is your this is your fee, they will be forced to reckon with you. You know, and that's all. No, that that's very important. Yeah. It's important that you put in the work. I didn't mention that Odua Enes is also a motivational speaker. If you can check his oh photos, you see one thing or the other. <laughs> but there's something that crossed my mind too, and this is a conversation that has gone on for a while about us having our own, um, an, our own award ceremony here. Now, over time, mm -hmm. we see that most of the major awards come from Lagos. What about as a people in the Southeast coming together, that's in terms of entertainment, in terms of movies, music, 
celebrating ourselves and giving these awards to ourselves, as opposed to waiting for the West, for things to happen in the West, we can actually make things happen here. True. So those are some of the things that, you know, in terms of the entertainment hub, I think we should definitely be looking at, if yeah. you do ask me. True. Because when you feel celebrated at home, the zeal and the reason to want to go to somewhere else kind of reduces, because you're like, you know what, they celebrate me back home. Why would I want to leave? Exactly. So it's important that we look into that also. Now let's talk about music. Over time, um, in the Southeast, we've gotten complaints from music producers saying that some artists would rather pay someone from the West more than someone who is in the Southeast with them. I don't know, have you experienced anything like that? Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Talk to me about it. Well, uh, the truth is that um, we've always had issues in black Africa in general. Yeah, we always had, we had, we have this personal issue of, I don't know, I, I could call it inferiority complex mm. because we love things that are not within our, we take this, uh, I don't know, we twist the scripture of uh, a prophet is not known in his hometown. Mm. We twist it mm. and shoot it out of the world very well. So we, most of, most people rather, they will just, they will tell you, you know, that kind of, because it's a, uh, I had an issue, I had a problem, it's not like a problem anyway, I had this conversation with my friend, yes, uh, yeah, purple boy, okay. yes, I had the, the conversation with him, you know, when we went for his, uh, where we went to listen to the song, the listening party, yeah. and people were advising him to get producers from Lagos to remaster his songs and stuff. To I, make it more... You get, so, and it's as if the song was like bad per se. Yeah, I produced one track from the, you know, so they, even the ones that were, I was like, this, this song is actually spotless. So it, it kind of, it's very demoralizing in a whole lot of sense. And I've seen it happen, not with myself anyway, I've not experienced it personally. Because I was going to ask you to call the artist's name here. <laughs> no, no, I'm not experiencing it, I've not experienced it personally. <laughs> okay. Like once the conversation wants to enter there, I'm like, okay, don't worry. Just stop there before you hurt my feelings and stuff, and I will have to hurt your feelings, uh, that kind of a thing. So, yeah, I, I understand. Um, my thoughts is that I have I have this feeling that we should actually stop and try and develop ourselves. Do you understand? Although, what he said, like developing your craft till it gets to standard and stuff. Uh, but but then again, it, it doesn't really make sense. It doesn't make sense why people would choose all the way to someone that... We see that, it happen yeah. all the time. And, you know, the painful part of this is we do have lots of talented individuals exactly. right here at home. Exactly. So you now start wondering, what is it that you are going out there to pay for when you have it right here with you? And I think to end this discussion, I feel like we need to celebrate what we have more. Mm -hmm. Because it... <laughs> He said see finish. <laughs> Anyways, yes, you we need to house. try to avoid see finish at home, which is the southeast, and need to, you know, celebrate ourselves more. It'll definitely do well to helping the entertainment ecosystem, the entertainment industry mm -hmm. right here in the southeast bloom, yeah. grow, yeah. and bring forth money. So yeah. it's very, very important. One final break, guys. Let me do come back more on Inka. Many thanks for staying with us on Nka Only on Afia TV. I am Jumai Bulama Ashebu, and I still have Odua Ennis right here with me and Chinas Jr. Um, someone asked me a question when we went on the break, and I'm going to say it, right? Um, an artist was asking if uh, someone sings that I'm their Naira right now, will I be happy about it? Of course, I will be happy about it. <laughs> Imagine telling me that you're, I'm, you're my, I'm your Naira. <laughs> What's a better way to celebrate me? Not mm -hmm. that I'm saying anyone should sing and say I'm your Naira, mm -hmm. but if you do say so, I don't know about both of you, please, mm -hmm. but I will celebrate. I will be grateful. But anyways, it's time for our game segment. Are you guys ready? TV. I hope so. <laughs> so you are hoping so. <laughs> it's very simple. I ask a question, you choose not to answer. You have a choice of taking a sip of whatever is in that cup. Okay. Okay. First of all, what's in the cup? You find out. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's start with you, Ernest. I don't want to start with China Junior again. I like the enthusiasm. <laughs> okay. Gives me so much joy. All right. Are you ready? Okay. Yes, I am. 
Why are you smiling? <laughs> All right. He's, he's so this is the rate um, segment. Okay. So this is the category of actresses. Rate from best to worst. Oh this actresses. Oh my god. We have Mary Osai. We have Stella Udeze. We have Ifeka Doris. Oh my god. <laughs> and we have Chinonso Arubai. <laughs> Should I call the names again? I'm good, I'm good. You heard me the first time. Hmm. Yeah, fine, shall. <sighs> Very lovely ladies. This, this, you're putting me on the spot. Oh, so beautiful. This beautiful. chin on so very beautiful. Very, all of them are beautiful. Uh -uh, so beautiful. Wow. Wow. Oh, see beauty. Oh, see beauty. Oh, this beauty is too much. So have you made your choice? Mm -hmm. So let's rate. <laughs> Best to worst. If you don't want to answer, you can take a sip of the coffee. It's fine. It's not like I want to give you a, an easy way. It's okay. Don't finish it. <laughs> don't finish it for us. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, Chino Junior, are you ready? Yeah, sure. <laughs> right from best to worst, this artist. We have Cho. We have Cola Boy. We have. J Wheels, and we have Purple Boy. Mm. <laughs> so, just so you know, Purple Boy in PL is behind the scenes. So, let me advise you, Purple Boy, if you can hear me right mm, now, mm, mm, it does not rate you well. When you go home, you know what to do. So, I called, should I call the names again? Yeah. Cho, <laughs> Color Boy, J Wheels, Purple Boy. So, I, I raised them for best to worst. Yes, best to worst. So, there has to be somebody that is the bottom uh, barrel. Well, I, I, I respect these guys. I mean, like, so. We like them too. Yeah, I like them. We, we like them too. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is it going to be? Uh, yeah, I, I think I'd, I'd sip my. So, you can't even tell the world that you love Purple Boy. No, no, I love You make purple... some mustard no. addicted. <laughs> He can't even tell the world that Purple Boy, don't be his friend again. Let me no, advise no, no. you. See, he'll, he'll be the first. Okay. Like, he'll be the best you'll get. I've, I've seen him work. I've worked with him and stuff. Hey, we've started. So why don't you continue? So, Purple Boy number one. Who yeah, is number yeah, two? Yeah. Uh, Just take a sip of the coffee. It's fine. Yeah, thank it's okay. you. It's all right. <laughs> all right. As we close, as we end, um, who would you say is your favorite actor of all time? And who would you say is your favorite artist of all time? Hmm. Well, I would say my my favorite actor of all time is RMD. Mm? RMD. Yeah. Beautiful. He's so, he's so he's so gracious. <laughs> I love him. We love you, Daddy. He's so gracious. RMD. Who's your favorite artist? Ah, it's a pickle. But just I, I just off the top of my head, mm. the first thing that the first name that runs into my head is is, is Easy Kirk Franklin. Lovely. So, anyways, the reason why we ask this question is. You want to do a monologue of this person in one minute, in th 20 seconds, 20 seconds, monologue of RMD. You have to pretend to be RMD. You need to, in 20 seconds, <laughs> yes, give us Kirk Franklin. So who are we going to start with? Very, very, you don't have an option to take. You, have to, you either do this or you dance. You can't take any of this. We, we, I either do this or I dance. But you can do it, so let's see you do it. Let's start with Kirk Franklin, then we'll come back to you for the monologue. So think about who you want to be. What ah. a Kirk Franklin song. <laughs> One of your Franklin songs. 20 seconds. Um, I'm going to sing it, right? Just sing, sing. OK. Hi, I'm looking for the one that is not common. Don't worry, anyone, whether it's common or not. It, it, it will take all day to tell you how I love you. So I don't know the lyrics of that song. It's yet. okay, you have done it. <laughs> like a crank not looking at you like this. <laughs> RMD, are we ready? <laughs> do you want to be a sugar daddy or <laughs> who do you want to be today? Uh, okay, so I, I, are you ready? You're ready for your monologue. Okay. But I told you, 
I told you to report to me when you arrive, didn't I? Can I have what I sent you? Can I have what I sent to you? I like this organ mojo. <laughs> it fits you very well. It goes well. But in that same vein, I mean, we do appreciate you guys for coming Thank through. You. you guys Thank were you. so much fun. Thank you for being a part of the show. Thank we you. love you so Thank much. You. Thank you. And on this note, we say goodbye. Do also follow us on all our social media platforms at Apia TV Official. And most importantly, keep a date with the beautiful, amazing Grace Ajayi for news tonight only on Apia TV. I am Jumai Bulama Ashebu saying have a lovely night. <laughs>